Everybody says, who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was, a god. I just told you, that's who I think I am. The life and truth you once came from is a moment of glory, luxury, and out of this world intelligence. But too often, a short but horrifically sad period of our existence as a people is highlighted as if that is our beginning. Although a part of history, it is not the start nor truthful in its wholeness. Today, my young, brilliant soul, we are going to look back at the prosperous past our ancestors built, so you can have the knowledge of self to create your promising future amidst the chaos. During this meeting of CAM, Coliation Against Misinformation, we are going to discuss two very important figures in world and black history, Mary McLeod Bethune and Mansa Musa. Let's start with Mary McLeod Bethune. Mary McLeod Bethune was an African-American educator and civil rights leader who dedicated her life to advancing the rights of black Americans. She was born in South Carolina in 1875, the 15th of 17 children born to former slaves who were actually descendants of African royalty. Despite facing significant obstacles, Bethune was determined to pursue an education, always praying for the ability to read. She eventually was the first in her family to go to school and not only do so, but graduate top of her class from Scotia Seminary in North Carolina. Bethune went on to found the National Council of Negro Women and worked with several U.S. presidents, including Franklin D. Roosevelt, to advance the rights of black Americans. She was also a strong advocate for education, and her efforts helped establish the Federal Council on Negro Affairs, which later became the Office of Economic Opportunity. Won her most legendary accomplishments for the world in her building, Daytona Literary and Industrial Training School for Negro Girls, in 1904, what would become Bethune-Cookman University, with $1.50, Faith in God, and Five Little Girls, along with Dr. Bethune's son, Albert. This amazing temple of learning and growth later became what is known today as Bethune-Cookman University. This happened because Cookman Institute, a predominantly white male school, was having declining numbers. Soon decided it was the best move to merge with the fantastic foundation Dr. Mary McLeod built and formed BCU in 1927. Why was Bethune-Cookman such a special place? What significance does intelligence have in African culture and history? Did Dr. Mary have any inspiration from her ancestors? All questions to consider when we move on to the first university to be built, Timbuktu University. Timbuktu is a city in Mali, West Africa, that was once the epicenter of Islamic scholarship and trade. In 1526, the powerful emperor Mansa Musa established the University of Timbuktu. The university was one of the first in the world to specialize in astronomy, mathematics, and science studies, and it attracted scholars and students from across the world. Mansa Musa was a devout Muslim and a powerful ruler. He is perhaps best known for his pilgrimage to Mecca in 1324, during which he famously gave away vast amounts of gold to the poor and needy along the way. Mansa Musa's wealth and generosity helped establish Mali as a major center of trade and scholarship, and his legacy is still felt today. Now let's discuss the universal importance of these two figures and their legacies. Mary McLeod Bethune's dedication to education and civil rights helped to advance the cause of black Americans and women in the United States. Being a beacon of strength during the time period of the women's suffrage movement, her work paved the way for future generations of civil rights activists, and she remains an important symbol of the struggle for equality. Mansa Musa's establishment of Timbuktu University was a major milestone in the history of higher education. The university played a crucial role in the development of Islamic scholarship and helped to establish Timbuktu as a major center of learning the teachings of knowledge of self, spiritual practice, and harmonious communion. These are a few qualities that were embedded in Timbuktu University. His generosity of not only wealth, but more importantly, information to the poor, helped to establish Mali as a the heavens of trade and scholarship, and cemented his legacy as one of the greatest rulers in African history. In conclusion, Mary McLeod Bethune and Mansa Musa are two everlasting staples in the history of man and woman, which is the black man and woman. They shaped the intel prowess of their people. That in itself is unmatched. The ability to inspire the next great king or queen is priceless. That is why they are protected jewels in the treasure chest, which is black excellence. Their legacies continue to inspire and influence people today, and their contributions to the world are a testament to the power of education and the human spirit. Thank you for watching. <laughs>